Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we are going to be completing my paycheck number two budget for the month of August. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe below. Hope you all are having a super fantastic day. Thank you to everybody who have been subscribing to my, my channel. I'm like very, very thankful and thankful to everybody who have stuck it out with me. You guys were with me. I came to YouTube. I think I had about $91,000 or $92,000 in debt, um, but I originally started with $127,000. I didn't start recording at the very beginning of my journey. Um, fear. <laughs> fear I wasn't living in the best of neighborhoods and so y'all would have been hearing some sounds and y'all would have thought I was in the combat zone so um yeah <laughs> so took a little time but we here now right and it's a new battle today but I get paid twice a month the last business day of the month and on the 15th of the month um so my salary is two thousand six hundred seventy two dollars and forty six cents um i am a little bit nervous with this budget here because it's going to change just a little bit um with how i allocate the money i'm going to turn this to the side just a little bit so the first thing that comes automatically out of my check goes into my son's savings account not a lot of money uh it's 60 bucks 30 dollars per son and excuse me if my voice starts breaking up i've been sleeping with a fan well actually two fans <laughs> blowing in my face so it's just all uh congestion um so health insurance i normally budget 14 dollars i'm going to budget 13.96 let's subtract four cents from that because y'all know my math sometimes ain't mathing <laughs> 13.96 for the health insurance it should fall under that so that's a health a healthy amount to put aside for it should be 13 13 something but it's not gonna be 1396 uh, identity theft is three dollars and fifty cents and these three items are taken out of my check I like to track them on paper because I've had incidences where more was taken out of my check than should have and then they have to make adjustments later i like to be able to say hey something's wrong <laughs> but not so oblivious as how i have been that more is coming out and i didn't even notice it you know <laughs> weird so mlgw is our utility company here in memphis so you guys know i normally budget 275 I'm going to increase that and the reason why is because we're still using a portable AC unit here and it's on all the time it never cuts off because it it's it's not big enough to actually cool this apartment upstairs and downstairs and it doesn't even cool upstairs all that well it does keep the side that my son's on um, pretty comfortable if you know both sets of doors are open and stuff like that but on my side it stays pretty toasty and when I say toasty it's um between 82 and 88 degrees in my bedroom so yeah <laughs> your girl has been camping out in the living room because it's better downstairs but what I'm gonna do is instead of 275 I'm gonna double that I was thinking about just going and setting aside 500 but I think 550 should do it just to make sure I have enough and that bill should be ready at the end of the month and since they can't find the part that's needed for the AC I have no idea and really that part should not only affect the AC but also affect the heat and with the labor shortage and everything else that's going on around here I just don't know when they're going to get the part how long I'm going to be you know like living like this and trying to make sure I cover myself so I don't end up making a rash decision moving myself somewhere that's worse than this place <laughs> um so it's just I'm trying to just maintain and and do all the things but make sure I cover myself financially and so this check is the check where I have the most room to move because most of it goes to my debt anyway but I'm going to be moving some of that and so that's why when you guys see me doing this budget right here at the beginning of the month and you see that I do it around the 15th 17th of the month you, 
this is not set in stone so this 3247 that's what I would like to do but it may not be what actually gets achieved uh, because things happen right because so you see here I have my utilities at 275 but you can see paycheck number two I'm actually going to set aside 550 what the actual is I won't know until the end of the month and I have not been getting my um, statements as early as they used to be and they're just getting closer and closer and closer to rolling into the next month it's getting weird um sprint for my portion of the bill i'm going to budget 75 dollars i need to send the boys a text to let them know the cell phone bill bump still blah 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 <laughs> the cell phone bill is due i always forget um xfinity is 112 and normally they remember so I haven't gone out of my room so I haven't checked uh, they normally leave the money either downstairs on the dining room table or up here on the there's like a banister I don't know what you call that thing uh, where you go down the steps <laughs> they normally leave it on there so for gas I'm gonna set aside $45 because with having to run AC in the car even though I'm not in the car as much and I'm working from home again um you it's so hot y'all we had to turn that thing all the way up so yeah it's a whole thing there and I remember watching somebody on YouTube who said that their uncle or somebody told them that it doesn't use up more gas with the AC I don't think that's true uh 16 plus 13 96 plus 550 plus 75 plus 112 plus 45 and so for paycheck number two my total bill section is 855 855.96 i am so tongue-tied this morning i'm trying to get everything recorded early in the morning so i won't be sweating to the oldies again 855 Point nine six. Let me do that one more time. Sixty plus thirteen ninety six plus three fifty. I think I missed something up. Yeah, five fifty plus seventy five plus one twelve plus forty five. Eight fifty nine four six. Thank the Lord, I did that twice. Left off the identity theft. Eight fifty nine forty six. And the miracle white out. <laughs> I can't not have my white out. Eight fifty nine forty six. All righty. Yep, that's twenty six seventy two. Point four six minus my total bills is eight fifty nine point four six eighteen thirteen. Oh, this is going to be the simplest budget. I just realized I have I don't take out cash envelopes from my second paycheck. I do all of that out of my first paycheck. Uh, it just makes it easier on me. I don't really care to go to the bank all that often. And when I originally set up cash envelopes, it was because uh, I was really abusing my checking account and it was to keep it under control. And to, the best thing I could do for those flexible accounts that I like to overspend in was make it a cash envelope. So not from the second. I have no sinking funds because I moved all of that to paycheck number one. And I upped the insurance to 125 that's why I need to cover car insurance uh, and my renters insurance so what's left here is going to my debt $1,813 and that's going to go to the one remaining student loan that I have left so yay to that and I am all tapped out all tapped out and nothing going into the extra savings and uh, let's do the last piece of math I got so 2672.46 minus 859.46 minus 1813 
and I have a zero base budget. But yeah, my second paycheck is always my easiest paycheck to work with. Has a few bills, um, and I'm trying to think that once I'm debt free, huh? Look at that, and I won't have a crazy utility bill like that. That's like about two thousand dollars right there for that one paycheck. Um, just abnormal times right now but it's all good right it's all good and so thank y'all so much for watching thank you thank y'all so much for your support for your kind words because i know like as much how, as frustrated as i am with no ac you guys have been like feeling it <laughs> and y'all feel me and you're understanding why i'm slowly thinking things through i am looking at other apartment complexes um i am making sure that legally I cover myself because I don't want to make a rash decision, jump and do something, and then next thing I know, they're suing me for X, you know, because they're gonna try to get the remainder that lease paid out. They're not gonna try to rent this place out. And then that'll be my fault, but I'm gonna make the best decisions for us, keeping my cool, and yeah. So yeah, I'm toughing it. Maybe I've adapted to <laughs> living in heat. I don't know. But yeah, things are, are going to be looking up. Thank y'all so much for watching the video. And I will see you guys on Tuesday. You're either going to get a pay debt with me video or my September budget. I think it's going to be in the pay debt with me video. I just want to make sure because this is going to come out on Sunday. Um, I want to make sure that everything is okay if that makes sense it should be but <laughs> anywho thank y'all so much and y'all have a super fantastic sunday fun day and i'll talk to y'all on tuesday bye